One of the first card games American children learn is, surprise, war. In Italy, there's a similar children's game, which is called Camicia. And it's a great game for any age to help you learn how to play with these Italian cards. Hi, I'm Chris, and welcome to Playing Games. Please subscribe, like, and comment. No need to fight over which to do, just do all three. Camicia means shirt in Italian. Not as dire as war, but you don't want to lose your shirt, right? I guess? I don't know. Camicia is an Italian warlike capture card game played with two players and a great way to learn that the aces, twos, and threes are special cards in some Italian card games. Camicia has been copied by dozens of familiar games. Slam Witch is a great variation of Camicia with lots of fun twists on the standard rules. In this game, you want to win all of the cards. If you lose all of your cards, you're out. It uses a 40 card Italian style deck. You can also use a standard poker deck by removing the eights, nines, and tens, but don't be a deserter, hold the line. Stand with the Italian deck. If you've played war with poker style cards, you'll remember that the high card takes the low card. In Kamicha, it's different. There are only three cards that can win other cards. The aces, twos, and the threes. For those of us who are familiar with Italian style cards, you'll remember that in many Italian games, the aces, twos, and threes are important cards which is why they are more decorative than the other numbered pip cards. In Kamicha, these are your attack cards, your trained soldiers. All the rest are your non-attack cards, your chaff to be mercilessly mowed down. How do you begin? First, you split a shuffled deck in half, giving each player a face-down deck of 20 cards. The player opposite the dealer then flips over their topmost card. If it's a non-fighting card, that player does nothing and play goes to the dealer. They flip over their top cards until an ace, two, or three is played. If an attack card is played, an ace, two, or three, then things get interesting. If an ace is played, the other player has one chance to rescue the pile. If a two is played, they have two chances. If a three is played, they get three attempts to rescue the pile. Here, a two is played. The other player plays the next two cards from their deck. If they play an ace, two, or three, they can rescue the deck. Chance number one, a six, that's a non-attack card. Chance number two, a king, also a non-attack card. It has to be an ace, two, or three. So they surrender their whole pile to their opponent. Let's look at another scenario. Here the dealer has played an attack card, a three. The opposite player now has three chances to rescue that pile. The first two cards are non-attack cards. A four is a non-attack card, and a six is a non-attack card. But their third and final card is an ace. They have rescued the pile with an attack card of their own. Now play goes back to the dealer. Since an ace has been played, they have one and only one chance to rescue their own pile. They reveal a non-attack card. Too bad. The dealer's whole pile then goes to the other player. In summary, you can only win the center pile if you play an attack card, which are aces, twos, and threes. The attack gives the opponent a chance to counter with either one, two, or three tries. The counterattack is successful if they reveal an attack card of their own. The original attacker can then only counter the counterattack if they reveal an attack card before their own attempts are used up. This goes on until one player cannot successfully counterattack and the whole middle pile goes to the other player, which they place under their deck. The way I've always played it is that if you win the attack, you also get to play the next card. The game is over when one player has won all of the other player's cards, or when one player runs out of cards, making them the loser, crying into the sleeve of their camicia. Most players make up their own twists and variations. It's Italian. There's never just one way to do anything. Some players make one card slappable, and if it's played, and you're the first to smack it, you get the pile regardless of the other rules. Have you played camicia, and do you have your own special rules? Drop a comment and let us know. I hope you give camicia a chance. It's a really fun game. Did you like this video? Let me know if I got something wrong, or if you play it differently. Please comment, like, and subscribe to help keep this alive. Also, help support the hard work that goes into these videos by digitally donating. You are great. See you next time on Playing Games. What's that card? It's the Ace of Likes card. You know what to do.